Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Row & Co Farms. Um, this evening, we're gonna be out here and we're gonna harvest some of our um, onions. Uh, we have some Texas white early onions and uh, some of our, also our yellow onions are ready as well. So we're gonna get in here and I'm gonna let you guys harvest with us today and see what these things look like. So let's take a look at them and, and then I'll show you why we're harvesting now and what things to look for to let you know that you're ready to harvest your onions. So let's get started. So as we look through this bed here, you'll see we have a, a few rows of one type of onion. You can kind of tell the difference. The others that are ready have already started to kind of flop over. Um, these ones here are, are yellow onions and you can see that the green, the greens of them are all still very green and they're standing really tall. And so those guys just really aren't ready yet. Now, when you look over here at the white onions, you can see that they started to just flop over and break and that their stems, this one's still a little green, but most of the stems on these other ones um, are all just yellow and dry. Um, so for instance, see this? This just is all falling apart now. Those are ready. Um, so those are the ones we're gonna pull out all the ones down here that have flopped over and that are um, all starting to turn. We're gonna go ahead and take those out today. And you can see where they're really just pushing up um, out of the ground. They look great. They look really good. I mean, compared to my hand, they're huge. They're gonna fit like in the palm of my hand. That's a large size um, onion. So um, I'm really excited. We're gonna get started doing this and you guys can watch what we're doing. So let's get in here. We might as well start with some of these. Um, I actually might leave this one. See how this is still really, really green? This may still bulb up a little bit more, but now this one, this one's done. And look at that. That is a perfect onion. Beautiful. All right, let's pull a few more. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these. I mean, why not? Wow, wow. I'm just really excited about these onions. Look at that. Let's get in here and get some of these out. These are just great. I mean, could you ask for any better in an onion? I love it. I absolutely love it. Just the perfect, perfect onions. I mean, some of them are a little smaller than the others, but I'm still really pleased with the size of these. I think there's still a few that they're just not quite ready yet, so I'm gonna give them a little more time. But most of these I can go ahead and take. And you just gently tug. Most of them are just right at the surface, so it doesn't take much to pull those out. smallest one so far. I'm debating whether I should take any of these yellow ones, but I think I am gonna wait. They still, 
they still may have a week or two and then they'll get even bigger than they already are. So I think I should leave them. I'm really mainly taking any of the ones that have this completely dried out um, yellow. Uh, I'm sorry, completely dried out green. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we also are um, gonna look at harvesting our garlic uh, today. So if you take a look at the garlic here, it's a little bit different when you harvest garlic than when you harvest onions. So when you harvest onions, you're waiting for this stalk to fall over and turn completely yellow and dry out. Um, and then you can pull it out. Um, and that's usually fine because your garlic, um, excuse me, your onion bulbs are kind of pushing up out of the ground. And so the bulb is right there and it's easy to just to remove that. If you wait until these stalks are completely dried out and yellow and try to pull this garlic out, it's gonna break off right here and your garlic's gonna be underground and you're gonna have the rest of it in your hand. So the best way to pull your garlic is to wait until it's about 50% of it is dried and yellow, which is pretty much where we are right now. We're kind of at that point. And um, so now we can pull these out. So I'm just gonna pull one, see what it looks like, and see if I think that they're ready um, to go ahead and take out or if they need another week or so. So we'll check it out. So here's my first one. It's kind of small. Not as big as I thought they were gonna be. We'll pull one more and see. Yeah, these are definitely small. Much smaller than what I anticipated for them to be. I thought these would be nice big um, heads of garlic. So I don't think I'm gonna take these yet. So I'm gonna leave them for another week and and i'll check them again maybe they'll be a little bigger maybe not maybe this is what we're going to get um but it was good to kind of come out here and check it out and see so we'll come back hopefully this showed you guys something hope you learned something from it um kind of when to take your garlic and when not to so i think we can give this a little more time maybe we'll get some bigger heads mm -hmm. 